Hello, so it's Friday, the last day of week one of Girls Who Code. This week was amazing. I went into Girls Who Code on Monday not knowing what to expect. I honestly thought that it was just gonna be like, lecture, do this, lecture, do that. But I was completely wrong. It's so much fun. But Girls Who Code is the best thing that has happened to me. I am so glad that I got accepted into this program. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy that this program exists because it's changing me in a very, very good way. Um, I've gained a lot of knowledge that I didn't have. I had no, completely no knowledge about computer science when I went in and now I know so much more. Yeah, next week we're doing robotics. I'm so excited for that as well. And yeah, until next week. This week was pretty intense. At least it was for me. We learned how to code in Python. I had no prior experience with Python. So I was actually really excited to learn it. Um, so we started off coding robots to dance and it was so much fun that I, I, that part of the assignment went really smoothly with me. Um, my team successfully made it um, dance and dance to a song. So that was so much fun to do. Um, later that week, we uh, began to code a little more difficult thing. We are a team and that's the number one thing about Girls Who Code. We are a team, we are a family and it is the best thing. So yeah, that was it for this week. Until next week, bye. Hi, Francesca here. So this week at Girls Who Code, we did design and animation. It was so much fun and it was definitely something new that I've never tried before. We made many games, which was a lot of fun. Like, I'm able to code Brick Breaker. I think that's the coolest thing. Ever. We learned how to code in JavaScript. Um, and it was slightly different from um, Python, but there were many similarities. And I think it's just so cool how there's so many different languages in code. I had a lot of fun with design and animation this week. I definitely see myself doing this on free time. We also went to Google, which was so amazing. The offices are like thebomb.com. It was so like, just, it was just so cool. You would think that offices would be in cubicles and stuff, but these Google offices are like so amazing and it's just so great how you see everyone working together and everyone's just not by themselves and that's definitely a goal that I want to reach is to be able to work in a technology company like that because it's amazing. Starting a Girls Who Code Club is definitely something that I want to do at my school. It would be so amazing to get all the girls involved in technology and computer science because they are going to love it. So yeah, that pretty much summed up my week. It was so much fun. Next week, we're doing um, data structures and algorithms. So that's going to be fun and I think intense. So I'm really excited for that. And oh my goodness, it's going to be week four. I can't believe it's going to be week four. It's going by so Until bad. next week, bye. Hello everyone, Francesca here. Um, it is the end of week four at Girls Who Code. It was pretty intense, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I see that they play a huge role when you're coding. We didn't learn any new languages, but we did. Um, we continued to write in Python, um, JavaScript, and a little bit of HTML. What else? Oh yeah, and we also built a 2048 game. Um, the 2048 game, we actually broke up into groups, and each person from the group had a different uh, had a different assignment to do. So then, at the end, we just put it all the code all together, and we had our 2048 game. And it's going to be like that for final projects, which is coming up in like a week because um, next week. What are we doing next week? I actually don't know what we're doing next week, but next week is week five. And and then it's week six and then week seven. There's just three weeks left. We're like more than halfway through the program. And I just can't believe that this isn't forever because the people that I've met are like just so amazing. And they're just great. And I'm really going to miss them a lot and my TAs and my teacher. Um, 
Oh yeah, and then on Friday, which was yesterday, because today's Saturday, I didn't get time to do one to record this yesterday. So we also went on a field trip to App Nexus field trip, even though that's where our program is located. And it was really fun. One of the highlights was that we practiced how to public speak. We had to talk about um, something that we are good at. And I said that I'm good at being a big sister. I did a little speech. Um, here's a clip from it. My family, because at the end of the day, family is the only are the only people that are going to be really fun and I got a, I never really spoke in front of a lot of people unless it was just class and stuff and I really like it. I love going up and just you know sharing what's on my mind or even something that I've planned like a project or something I love presenting um so yeah this week was really fun again um next week is week five <sighs> it's like the end is coming and I don't want it to come so yeah <laughs> until next week bye Hello, Francesca here. So this week at Girls Who Code, we did app development. It was pretty cool. We learned some new algorithms, which was nice, and some workshops that we did. Yeah, we had a trip on Friday to News Corp, and it was really cool. It was such an amazing building. Um, I had a lot of fun there, and they gave us really nice totes that I'm going to practically be using every day, probably. Like, if you see me outside, I'm going to be with my News Corp totes. It was so nice. But yeah, it's been, it was a really fun week, and yeah, that was basically it for this week. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Hi, Francesca here. So this week at Girls Who Code, we basically just chose our teams that we were going to work with for the next week and a half, so we could begin building our app, and that's what we did. I chose my team, it's me and two other girls. Um, we're pitching on Thursday of next week. I'm gonna record the pitch, so I'm gonna add it onto this video. So that'll be part of my vlog as well. So yeah, we've just been working really, really hard. We're gonna be doing some final touches this week because we're basically done with our app. We've been working nine to four every day on it and it's coming off really great. I'm so excited. So yeah, that's basically it. Until next week, bye. Hi, Francesca here. So I know I'm in my bathroom. It's just really good lighting in here. But anyway, um, it's the end of week seven. I can't believe I'm saying this, but yeah, it's the end already. Um, so this week was, it was just so good, just like every other week. Um, the first few days we finished working on our final projects. We did our poster, our presentations, practiced our pitches. And then on Thursday, we graduated, we presented, and it was really great. Um, I'm going to put a clip right over here so you guys can see. It's no secret that in the United States, in presidential as well as in midterm elections, voter turnout is incredibly low. More importantly than that, of the voters that do show up, very few of them know exactly. Yeah, it was amazing. Such a great experience. And then, you know, on Friday, yesterday, it was just all goodbyes and stuff. And I'm just really sad because, oh man. like I said, on week one, <laughs> the program changed me in a really, really good way. And I've grown so much over the last seven weeks. Like, no one has known. Like, I've grown so much. I know so much. And I just got to know so many different kind of girls that really inspire me and motivate me to do things. And... I don't know, it just makes me really sad just to know that it's like that's it, you know, because it's just, it's really saddens me so much because, uh, yeah, it just sucks, but I mean, it's life, we gotta just keep in contact and just be there for one another even though we're not, you know, right here next to each other it's very important to just keep contact because it's gonna I guess help us in the future um yeah I'm definitely gonna keep in touch with all of these girls because they were all just so great my TAs were amazing my teacher was great as well um yeah I'm just gonna really 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 miss girls who code so much it's just such, it has had 
such a big impact in my life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry this experience wherever I go. Like, I honestly talk about Girls Who Code to everyone. Like, everyone. That's basically a topic of our conversation. Oh, yeah, we'll sing Girls in Code. We did this and that and that and that. That's all I talk about because it's such a great movement and the program is just amazing and it's just so good. And I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to be a part of this program. Like, I'm so thankful that I got accepted because uh, it's so good. It's such a great experience. You learn so much and you just grow as well. And it's just, I'm not the same person that I was seven weeks ago. I'm a better person and it's just great. And it makes me happy. I can't wait until my sisters are able to apply because they're going to apply and they're going to go through the same thing that I went through. It's gonna be great. Um, thank you for watching this video and for seeing my little journey week by week at Girls Who Code. If you're planning on applying to the program in the summer, please do so and or if there's a club at your school, please join it. You won't regret it. It's honestly the best thing ever. Everyone, and by everyone I mean every girl, should know how to code because Coding is life changing and it is the best thing ever. So, I think this is it. Thank you so much for watching. And my name is Francesca Erisi, and Girls Who Code changed my life.